we're gonna talk about the number one and the number two thing that people don't know. What $900,000 buys in that price range? We have condos in that price range. I'm Dan Palomino with KW Big Island and the Hawaii team. Well, today we're going to talk about the number one and the number two thing that people don't know about coming and purchasing a property here in Hawaii. The number one thing and the number two thing that people just don't know about coming and living and working and playing here in Hawaii and how it all pertains to real estate. But first, before we do that, Please do me a favor, and if you like these videos, share them. Just hit the share button, send them off to a friend, and then hit the subscribe button, and you'll get fresh videos every time we post something. Automatically, you'll be notified. And as always, if you have questions or comments or want to talk to me, call the number because I actually do pick up the phone. All right, the number one thing that people don't know about purchasing real estate here on the Big Island, and that is the prices. By far, I spend most of my time helping to educate people on pricing here on the Big Island. And so you'll see somebody contact me, we'll do a Zoom call from their house in the mainland, they'll tell me what their budget is, and then I'll tell them that may or may not exist for that price point. And they underestimate exactly how much it's gonna cost to get what they want. They'll say, well, I think we've got up to $900,000 to spend. And then when I tell them what $900,000 buys, they're like, wow, really? I didn't really expect that. Or they're a little shocked about how few options they have. Like, hey, Dan, we're coming to the island next Wednesday. Our budget's 900,000. And then I say, well, the good news is, is we don't really have any homes in that price range. We have condos in that price range that we can go see. But the bad news is, is we only have about three or four choices uh, or five choices, right? Depending on what their end goal is. There's just two things that really change things here. The first thing that changed more than anything else is inventory. Inventory is what drives prices. And you've heard me say this before. We have no national home builders. There's no Lennar here. There's no Shea Homes. There's no DR Horton. There's nobody developing vast tracts of land and building new homes and new construction to help fill in those inventory gaps. If you want to buy a place here, you have to wait for somebody to sell a place. And a very, very busy or active day here on the island would be nine new listings. That would be a, a great busy day. And because we're going to have this constraint of inventory for the foreseeable future, it's going to continue to drive and drive and drive up prices. And so people have sticker shock about what they can buy for what money. That's the number one thing that we have to help educate people on. So if you're gonna get started and you're thinking about making a purchase here, please, before you start making any assumptions, just call us and let's have the discussion of what you can buy for your budget. So you're realistic. So when you come out here, you know exactly what you have for options and you're not surprised. The number two thing about purchasing a property here and living and working and playing is that it's not the mainland. I know you've probably heard me say that, you've heard other people say that, it's not the mainland. And what I mean by that is the mainland mentality of what you're used to, back where you live, just doesn't work or apply here. Everything is very, very different. And I could go on for numerous examples about why it's different. The pace of life here is very, very different. You know, you've heard the expression, we'll handle that manana. Well, manana doesn't mean tomorrow here. Manana could mean in a week. It could mean two weeks. It's just a very slow pace and there's no urgency to get anything done here. Options and choices. You have lots of options and choices at home for retailers and vendors and people to come to do work at your home. You don't have a lot of those options here. It's a very, very different lifestyle. It's a very slow, it's a very easy, it's a very relaxed. And if you're used to getting stuff done and having lots of choices and having lots of options and comparing prices, it's not going to happen here. And so those are the two things that I want to stress in today's video to you about living, working and playing here in Hawaii. Prices are going to be really high. You're going to have sticker shock. It's an entirely different pace of life. Get rid of the mainland ideas 
and, and mentality. All right. I hope that helps. And again, if you want to talk more about any of these, and there's a whole bunch more that entails of living, working and playing in Hawaii, but it is, I mean, look at this. <laughs> it is paradise. There's somebody uh, diving right behind me. It's a beautiful day here in Kona. The sun's out. Banyan's surf spot is behind me. I'm down here at uh, our property uh, with our church. It's just, um, and there's a little Oh, you can't see it over here in the corner, but there's a little fair going on where they're selling all kinds of stuff. It is a different way of life, but it's a fantastic way of life. So again, if you need to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, contact us here at the Hawaii team, 808-913-0899, 808-913-0899, or thehawaiiteam.com. Aloha. Aloha.